Good morning folks. I'm uh, taking a while to get started today. Right, well what I've done, uh, which I want to show you, is I've transferred my my watercolours into this Ziploc bag with the old bit of wet toweling underneath. But I don't think this Ziploc work, bag works very well. Ah, that's better. Right, okay. So this is a temporary arrangement. But there they are, they're keeping nice and moist till I need to use them again. Uh, so I'm still doing, I'm doing acrylics and oils at the moment, but acrylics. So, so what I've done, I've taken my Stay Wet palette box and put in a, a Masters from, this is the Masters from Stay Wet palette. Uh, it's on, I put it on a bit of toweling, I don't like the uh, how the sponges that they supply with these things, they, they, they soon go mouldy. But the toweling seems to be okay. It's sprayed with a lot of water and the colours I'm going to use are cadmium yellow, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, cab, uh, vermilion, uh, alizarin crimson, ultramarine black and if we need it, um, some some uh, Viridian and I'm working from an old painting and uh, I'm going to do a lake scene do like a mountain or anything so I'll, I'll do a rough drawing of it I need a fairly low horizon because that will give me more air for sky and we'll just come down To, to about there and then we've just a bit of a uh, bit of marsh grass here and we'll, we'll take up some I'll put some hills in the background here that be about it really I'll make a better shape of that I think but it's just to remind me to put things in so uh, I've, I've got a bit of uh, gel, these are acrylic paints, so I've got a bit of gel. This is VO5, Vosin, I can really imagine that is. Hair gel, well of course I don't need any hair gel because I've got any hair. Well, I've got a little bit. <clears throat> well, but, but this is expensive, that was a fiver from uh, Superdrug. But uh, I've got two litres of, I think the hospital gel coming today or sometime, it's imminent anyway. And that works out about eight pounds for two litres, but the postage is much, and, and, and the tax on top of that is another 10 pounds. <coughs> but that's still worth it, it's still far cheaper than that. But I hope it works. <coughs> they put it on your chest and they, when they're gonna rub the camera, or the ultrasound over you. And it's a water-based gel, which is ideal, ideal for acrylics. Now, when you're working with this, keep your legs covered with, uh, or your knees covered with, your apron, bigger ape, bigger the better. Right, so let's uh, put in a bit of sky. Um, my brushes, oh, I'll use some varnish brushes. I'm going to order some more of these. These are quite cheap, about four pounds each, but they were. Uh, right, so into the old gel. I can't show you the mixing, it's just too difficult. Uh, <clears throat> I've got the palette, I'm, I'm using a, my Mabeth box easel with the legs fold, uh, folded into the box and uh, resting on a, a makeshift trolley table <clears throat> with the drawer pulled out and that's my working area. I'll, 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 I won't show you. Either. So we'll just put a bit of, bit of um, Sky, a bit of, bit of light blue, bit of, bit of gel, just cover up with some thin, a thin wash, go away. Oh, that's far too deep.
the weather's trying to improve. We've had a lot of rain. It's quite windy, so, so I'm sort of. I bear in mind the sky as I look at them all the time to see if I can use use the sky. But I want light down the bottom, and so I would put that in the water. And go over with another another brush here. Uh, so a touch of yellow yellow ochre and a touch of alizarin, I think, in there. Plenty of white. Just thin paints at the moment with the gel. What you don't want to do when you're painting over hills, mountains, tree, masses of trees, is to is to follow the same contour with your clouds. It's tempting to do. You don't realise you do it half the time. The, uh, this, the alizarin is very very strong in this. Not uh, going for anything finished at this, this stage, just putting paint on, working my way into the painting. The great thing about acrylic is it dries quite quickly, but using the gel, it just keeps it mobile for a little while, so you can blend. Right, that'll do. For start. So let's uh, put in a bit of bit of warm ochre, touch of from familiarness. Put a, we could do a bit of burnt umber in there. I think I will. I guess if I can find it. Oh, I won't know who it is. I use it for primer sometimes when it's on my table. Oh, there's nothing there. There's not much in it. I've probably got another one. Wilco's uh, don't do it anymore, they've, they've stopped sadly. Yeah. Oh well, there we've got some. I've got, I've got four big tubes of black, I just bought up what they had left of my local source. But, <coughs> but plenty of them, they did colours that I don't use and so I'm now going to the range for my acrylics. So a bit of a bit of more realistic colour. Oh, and let's get a bit of, a bit of both those colours on here. Scumble over this. I've, I've primed this with, uh, as you can see, burnt, burnt sienna. I've put some uh, trees in there black and yellow, a bit of red, a bit of vermilion. Go to about there. And then we can put some darker stuff in. Well, I'll change. I'll, I can change all that. Let's get a bit, bit of, bit of lighter stuff behind that to counter change. Right. I'm going to put some background in now. Get that brush clean in the water. So it's a bit of a lizard, I think, with the blue.
Wissenschaft. I've got a bit of light in there. As this dries, we can we can adjust it and add, take off the hairs. Just get a bit of shape there. Okay, and we'll put in a bit of blue, a bit of bit of grey. Coming down here. This is just the first layer and I'm just feeling my way into this slowly. Now that's my horizon there. Probably better, better, better with a bit of a blue grey there. Right, let's just put in a bit of light horizon. Soften all that later on. Not going to put any reflection in here, but I will here maybe, but that's going to be broken water and showing a bit of the background. I want to reflect the sky more than anything else. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever done this one in acrylic. So we've got to get a lot, a lot of colour, a lot of, a lot of su suggestion of detail in. Uh, so I'm just using ochres and. Picking up off the palette, just any old grey, really. I want to try and get all this this soft. So let's use a bit of light, a bit of bit of alizarin, a bit of that colour, but just. Trees. Right, let's get some uh, some lighter stuff in that right hand side here. Yeah. 
Uh, I want to just bring that. Okay, that's coming on. I'll do a bit of sky now, I'll just go back to the sky. Clean, clean the brush. Most of my brushes are worn out, I, I just grab the ones that... I, I would recommend, if you're going to use flats, for, for my experience anyway, <clears throat> unless you're going to paint with short, little, with, with nice strokes, blocky painting, but I generally, generally, generally go for the long flats. I find them much more useful than, say, that sort of brush. That's a short flat. I it, I do use it, but but I prefer I prefer the long ones. This is a nice brush. This is a, a Georgian red Taylor Rowney. That's a that's an edge flat. That's a long flat. Lovely brush those. But I'm not going to use it. Uh, right, well let's, let's put a little bit of, bit of shadow in there, in that sky. A bit of blue. Bit of, bit of alizarin. A bit more blue. Put some nice colour in that sky. Right, oh, let's get a bit of bit of cloud in there now. Oh, I quite like that. There's a lot going on in the sky now. I'm going to get some contrast of colours there, so... Uh, a warmer, warmer colour on that, the edge of that. Uh, 
Uh, I've got to get that darker. That's that's got to counter change. I need to just change there a little bit. I've primed both sides of the uh, paper and I've used quite a bit of chalk in the, uh, I, I did it with ordinary household emulsion, household paint, um, <clears throat> but I mixed it with some PVA glue and when I spread it all over the, the, this side, <coughs> mixed a bit of uh, burnt sienna in with it, then I sprinkled it with chalk, with white chalk. Drag over that. Just put that back a bit. I put that alizarin in with. Uh, A hole in the gesso then. Uh. Hmm. Oh, missed in that valley there. Right, making that lighter has made that stand out a little bit more, but I want to put some trees or something on the, on the on the edge. A bit of red, bit of yellow, touch of black. A bit of ochre, a bit of red, just warm some of this scree up. We can put some bushes on there now. Let's have a touch of blue with that. I do like using black, but I don't want to make holes in the picture. So a bit of red, just modify it, it's the warmer colours. Right, now let's get those trees back.
Okay. Let's uh, clean one of the brushes and I'll go back and just put in some some uh, see that you can put reflections in if you want if you wish but you can also do wind ruffled water which is what I prefer to do because it's easier so we've got plenty of blue in that sky so let's just go over with some of that sky colour you know, just drag as you put more paint on you get more of a surface to drag over I'm going to put some of that light back in there with the yellow ochre and a touch of alizarin Right, uh, now get in some sort of grey bit of ochre, this is sort of land. I'm just trying to work out some, like a uh, foreshore here. Uh, right, put some green in there. Put in some grasses over that. Uh, back to the water now. We're, we're taking some water, some some of that uh, sea or lake, whatever we want, really. I can mix up a bit of bit of sort of mauve. Get some of that yellow in there, or that's a uh, alizarin and yellow, yellow ochre. Just 
just jagging gently, trying to get some some high spots. Okay, that's coming on. Uh, let's drag a bit over that. Lost and found. All nice and soft. So I just wonder if I could put another layer behind that, another plane. Uh, it's got a bit of blue and black and a bit of... Well, let's get some let's get a bit of greeny. Oh, I'm using the version here. But I'll mix a bit of blue with my yellow here. Got some more silhouette there. Need more light in there, I think. Um, I'm, I probably could get a better shape there with that elizer and let's uh, go back and well, that's gives us a bit more interest to it. Let's find out another little I've got a little brush now. Uh, that one I do. <coughs> See, the, see what's happened, the ferrule, look, it's all splayed. These very cheap Chinese brushes, this had much more hair in it when I bought it. It's a lovely brush. Look, I've had it years. I've used it for oil, all sorts of 
stuff. Now, I want to get just a, I don't know, I want some dark at the bottom of that. So let's uh, get that green back. A bit of blue as well in, in that mix. Maybe some bits of dark on on there. Right, there's a bit of bit of detail back in that now. Just clean up that bit of water that I crossed there. But, but warm colour, don't want too cool. I'm working around that foreground, still thinking about it. So I'm not sure we're not warm enough. It's just a little bit in there. Put a bit of grey in there now. Right. Let's bring some water now into uh, into this here. Well, maybe we can work a little bit of that reflection in.
are we doing? That's just too too even there, so I'm going to change to change the shape of that a little bit. That's better. Okay, let's get a nice little bit of light green in there now. in there as well. Right, now I want to put in some grasses up here but I don't want to paint every one of them so I'm going to use a sh bit of shorthand here. I'm going to use one of my favourite brushes, this one. A long inch flat that's all splayed and worn out and I can just put a bit of detail, a bit of greeny. Bit of medium. some dark green. Just a bit of foreground. Uh, can we do anything with a rigger? Uh, probably. Right, before I ruin it, I'll uh, put it in a mount and we'll have a, we'll have a look at it. I don't usually work on over these. Just once, once they're done, they're out of me. Uh, this, I've got this double mount here, which I made a long time ago. But it's, it's for a 16 by 12, really. So, but we'll give you an idea of what it would look like, so we'll just put it in that one. Well, I could, I could just paint over the corners, I think that's probably what I'll do. It's easy enough to do, I think. Having said that, it would turn out to be the worst bit of the picture. No, uh, bit of white, bit of alizarin, bit of blue. bit over here. Okay, that's probably solved that problem, isn't it? Right, uh, mount. <coughs> Okay, well, I think that's quite good. I'll sign it. I think it's worth a signature. Let's 
taken quite a while hasn't it? But uh, you can always fast forward. I will be putting adverts, five second click off adverts through it. Uh, and I'm sure you won't mind. Let's, uh, let's, what colour shall I sign that? Uh, blue. I, I, like, I quite like that, so I'm quite pleased with that. <coughs> right, I'll, just move, I'll just lift you up a bit so that you can get a better view of that mount. Oh, oops. Well. Oh dear, with that I'll, I'll go a bit further away. No, oh, well, that's that's it. That's that's quite quite pleasant. It takes a bit of a while to to do that because I I tighten up the boom, and whoops, and when I take my hand off it, the camera moves down. <laughs> but I, I like the sky. I'm quite happy with that. I think that's a. It's a bold sky. It's got a load of colour in it. And. Plenty of recession. Uh, well, it's the best I'm going to do today. So, that, so that's the finished painting. Thanks for looking in, guys. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.